Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint and I have a very special guest. What's your name? Asia. Asia, and how old are you? Four. Four, and what's your favorite color? Yellow. Yes, same as mine. And she was so excited, she picked that we are going to paint the cat together. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. So she has one of the supplies in her hand, so I want you to grab a pencil because you're gonna be drawing a little bit. Now we have a circle drawn out already for the cat head, so if you wanna do this, you can either grab a cup or maybe a small plate and you can join us and do that. And then we also have some colors. So for the colors, I want you to grab any watercolors that you want because every cat is different, right? Have you seen different color cats? Um, yeah. Sometimes th this one's a lot of different colors. This cat is gray. Oh, maybe you can change the color eyes if you want. Ooh, or a yellow cat. Yeah, or a little lighter color cat with some spots. I want that one. You like that one? So you get to pick, so grab any of your watercolors, and then we're gonna use some crayons at the end to kind of decorate. But the other fun thing is, have you ever used this before? This is a fun new brush called a fan brush. So that's what's gonna make all these little fur lines on our cat, so we're gonna use that at the end. So, we got our supplies. The first step is, is let's do our motto. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am I'm creative. creative. <laughs> let's do this. Yeah! <laughs> that was amazing, yes, you know it. Okay, and then Keenan's back here. You may hear him a little bit, or meowing. Does that sound real? Yes. <laughs> okay, so first step, grab your pencil. So we are gonna draw with very simple shapes, so I know you can do it. So let's start, the cats have two ears and they are like triangle shapes. So up here, I want you to draw one triangle connecting. So we're gonna do that together. So draw a triangle, draw a big triangle, yes. And then do one on the other side, so on the right side. So you're gonna draw another triangle. And then do you see how there's mini triangles inside? You can draw a really small one. So that's the inside of our cat ears. Yes! Nice work. Okay, next step is let's draw this side. So for right here, I want you to draw a line going all the way down, and then we'll add a foot. So draw a line on the left side, kind of coming down. Yes, and then leave a little bit of room, boom. So you're gonna draw kind of a curve. So I want you to come out, curve, and then come in, just kind of like a foot. Yes! There you go, go in a little bit, yes! And then go, yeah! So you kind of made a circle. And then right here, what I want you to do is, can you go up from this line to kind of make a leg? Yeah! So you're gonna draw a leg. So then we have one of our paws. Now let's do it on the other side. So right here, about right here, can you draw another line going down? So draw another line going down and then go out to the right, yep, and go out. So the opposite of what you did earlier. So go like that and then come up and curve and draw the line. Yep, and then come up. So then about right there. Yeah, so about right there, go up like you did right there. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that paw! Do you see that? You just drew a paw. Okay, now nice. let's draw the back part of our, is this a girl or boy? Mm, a girl. A girl, okay, a girl cat. So right here, I want you to come out around here. So we're kind of draw the back of her. So on the right side, you're gonna draw a curve line and then come out and let's start with that. Yes. And then curve and come down. Yes, and then we're gonna draw, so kind of do the same paw that you did over here. So down here, I'm gonna come out here and curve. Yep, and then come up to make it the leg part. Yeah, right there. Yes, sweet. Okay, and then need a tail, right? So you can keep continuing it right here, or you can draw another part. And you can decide, do you want a straight tail? Do you want to curve? So you're gonna draw a tail, so maybe it swirls a little bit if you want. And then you're gonna draw the other side just like she is. 
Nice. And then, does your cat have a collar? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so below the neck, you're just going to draw a line that's kind of close to it. So about right there, you can draw a line. Yeah. And then, does it have a little circle so we know the name? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, and then let's draw two eyes. So anywhere on your face, you can draw two eyes. So draw two circles. And then can you draw a small triangle for the nose? Yeah. And then let's do two smiley faces. So we're going to do a smiley face that way. Nice. And then a smiley face the other way. Yeah. Hey, high five. You just drew that. And you drew that at home. Like, we are so excited. Good job. <laughs> that was amazing. Okay, now we're ready to paint. So let's get some colors out. So we have a whole bunch of different colors, but I want to mix. I'm going to mix this golden color, so kind of like this color. So I'm going to do equal parts brown and equal parts yellow. So this will make a golden color. I'm going to have some yellow if you want to make some yellow. What color do you want to use? These ones. Those ones? Okay, do you want to squeeze them out? Okay, so, so squeeze them out over here. So that's, what's that one? That one's gray, so we can do that. And maybe we make some orange. So yeah, squeeze that out anywhere. Nice. Then do you want some, ooh, maybe some blue? You can make any color cat. I'm going to make us some orange. So orange is a little bit less red and a lot more yellow. Then we'll have some blue. So I want you to put all your colors out. Mix any if you want. I'm gonna do this to help I out. I mix some dark blue. Oh, wow, you just did that. Can I mix it and see? That's amazing. Whoa, look at that color you just made. So she mixed black or the gray and blue. Here's some orange. Oh, okay. So yeah, start, we're gonna start with the head. So if you wanna dip your brush in water, it might be able to help it paint a little bit more. So dip it in water. So pick your first color. So I want you to paint the face and then the ears. So pick any color that you want. I'm gonna go with this golden brown. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna show pick you how to make this. Rainbow. Oh, I love it. Okay, do it. Ooh, yes. So pick a color and then so we both are using our big round brush because we're painting a really big area. And then if you want to paint around your eyes and your nose, so I'm going to leave those white. So we are going to grab the brush that looks like this, the fan brush. Mm, the fan four. Yeah. Okay, here's what I want to show you. Okay, dip it in water. Dip it in water. And then on your paper towel, can you go like this a little bit so it's not super, super wet, but kind of wet? Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use our fan brush. Now, what color do you want to make kind of these fur lines with? I want to make with this one. Yeah, okay, so dip it in. So here's the thing. Do you see how we have a lot of paint on here? Mm -hmm. I want you to do it right here. So go like this a little bit. Yeah, really lightly. So that's what we're going to do on our, do you see how it makes these lines? Mm -hmm. So on your cat, what I want you to do, ooh, I'm going to do a different color. I'm going to do kind of the red color. But I'm going to do the same thing. So dip in your brush. You're going to go like this. And then I want you to hold your brush like this. And then you're gonna go like this and make some lines. You see how I'm really mm -hmm. lightly? So try that on yours. Try it on your cat. Yes! Oh! Look at that! Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So we're just really lightly touching the brush. So then we're making these fur lines. Yes! And we're moving out away from the eyes. So then it makes the lines go out. This is like a lion. It does look like a lion. We're making a cat lion. Cat so you lion. can make them different colors. If you want to add some brown Ooh. in there. Oh, you're just going to go for it. Yeah, paint the whole thing if you want. <laughs> so you can paint with this. So what we're doing, 
is you're gonna add the cat, the fur lines, and if you want to add more. So the more paint you have on it, do you see how thick that is? That's what's gonna happen. So if I really just lightly touch, you'll get thinner lines. If you press harder, you'll get thicker lines. Nice. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep painting any color that you're, you want, and then you're gonna repeat the steps. So just like she is painting the rest of the body, oh, we're gonna go and paint the whole body and repeat the steps. So, do you wanna paint with that? Do you like painting with that brush? Um, I wanna paint with something else. Okay, you can switch. So you can keep switching back. So I think I'm gonna switch back and then we're gonna paint the body, yeah. So you can paint the body any color. Maybe we'll do a mix of colors and have fun. Remember that there's so many different colored cats. So if you wanna do a different color or if you wanna add some spots, you can do that. We're gonna go and paint together and paint the body. Okay, so I'm gonna pop in really quickly and show you again the technique with the brush. So I have a lot of paint on here, so I have too much. So I'm gonna use my paper towel and kind of swipe a little bit. But then anywhere, I'm gonna paint over my colors. I'm gonna paint over it and add these lines. So this type of cat has a lot of different colors, a calico cat. So I'm gonna add that in. So you see how I'm just lightly using this brush. But I wanna show you is I have this color, but maybe I go and then say, okay, let's add some orange in here. And you can do it on top of it. Do you see that? Mm. So you can kind of layer it a little bit. And so it's just adding more depth with this fur. Oh, that looks so cool. The little hairlines. So you can keep adding different colors, especially if your cat is multicolored. But I'm just gonna keep, we're gonna keep going and painting together. So we did all of our painting. Asia painted the whole background, which is amazing. And she did it rainbow colors and then we let it dry. So make sure your painting is dry for this last step. So grab out any color crayons that you have. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a few things. Yeah, and maybe the, the black might help for the eyes to show up a little bit more. So what we're gonna do, do you wanna start with the eyes or do you wanna start with the fur? What do you the want to start? With? The fur. Okay. So yeah, you can add some more lines. So if you want, you can use any of your colors, and you can kind of add more this lines. Doesn't really show. Doesn't show up. I see it a little bit. Yeah, maybe the brown or the black might show up. So you can add some fur lines. They show up. There you go. Then I start with the eyes. Okay. So you can do the eyes, and what we're gonna do is we're just adding in some more texture to it. So for the eyes, nice. The eyes I would use black. So for the eyes, what I wanna show you is that there's a few different things. Yours might be fully colored in. Oh, did you add some eyelashes? I love that. So if you wanna color it in, so if you color it in, what you wanna do is you're gonna add a little bit of a circle and leave that there. And then I'm gonna add another small circle. And then I'm gonna color this and in. The rainbow is gonna be the fur. I like that. So that way your eye pops. So you can do it any different way. We're just gonna color in the eyes. You're gonna color in the nose. So you can pick different colors. My nose, my nose is gonna have different kind of color. Cool. <laughs> and then maybe you color in, you can either use watercolor or maybe you color in with your crayons, the inside of the ears. And then you have your collar. I'm finished with mine. You're finished? Wait, what's the name of your cat? I realize I didn't I'm ask you. Mine is named Sunshine. Sunshine? Do you want to draw an S right here then? Do you know mm -hmm. how to draw an S? Maybe use, I think it'll show up if you do black. So on your circle, 
you can do the first letter. There you go. Yeah. And then maybe, so do you see how you have your circle? Outline it. Yes. And then you want to add the lines for the collar so we can really see it. I'm going to name my cat after you. So it's going to have an A in the middle. What is it going to be? Can it be Asia? The second? <laughs> so it's named after you. Nice. Okay. So if you want to add more fur, you can. So you're good? Mm -hmm. Yeah? I'm good. Okay, this was so much fun. So, thank you for painting with me. Look, I'm gonna show mama this. You wanna show mama? Okay, can we hold it up so we can show all of our friends at home? Mm -hmm. So this is awesome, so we wanna see what you make. Can you see it? <laughs> we have a Facebook group. Oh, can you hold it to the side of me so that we can see it? There you go. So we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. We have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids. We want to see what you make so we can cheer you on and also tell us the name of your cat. So that was awesome. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> okay, we'll see you later. Bye.